Hi, in this problem we have an infinite sum and we want to know if it converges or diverges. So converges or diverges. And if it converges, we want to find the sum. So this looks like it might be um, geometric. So let's go ahead and write it in that way and then I'll explain what that is. You'll notice there's an n minus one here and there's an n minus one here. So what we can do is we can write it as follows. We have the sum from one to infinity of negative six over five, and then you can write the whole thing to the n minus one. And basically this is geometric. Geometric is basically when you have a series that looks like this. Say we start at one, you can start any, at any number, and you have a times r to the n. If it has this form, it's called uh, an infinite geometric series. And there's a theorem that says at, that if r is less than one in absolute value, then it converges. And if r is greater than or equal to one, then it diverges. So in this case here, um, you see the r is this piece here. It's the piece that's being raised to the nth power. If you're wondering about the n and the n minus one, it's not really going to matter um, because you could do something like this, watch. n equals one to infinity. You can write it like this, negative six fifths to the negative one times negative six fifths to the n. And basically this whole piece here is your a. So it doesn't really matter, right? So um, it doesn't matter if it's an n minus one or an n, it's still gonna be in this form. So r in this case is negative six over five. Whoops, negative six over five. And so the absolute value of r is the absolute value of negative six over five, which is equal to six over five. And you can see that's greater than or equal to one. So the series diverges by what's called the geometric series test, the geometric series test. That's typically what books call it. Um, you can just say it's a divergent geometric series as well. This is this is the geometric series test. You can abbreviate it too if you like. You can call it GST. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.